it's mainly the perspective. I want them to shift perspective. And this is something I use in my ordinary my work as an artist. We thought that she could approach us and, uh, and learn us to see things from another view. We had to do something called 100 hours. And Malin told us to lay down on a stretcher in the corridor one hour in your own clothes with a blanket over you and feel what the patients feel when they are lying there five, six, seven, eight hours. And we have to think about um, what do you see, what do you feel, what do you hear? after you have been on the stretcher, you write it down in a book. It was really interesting and much harder than I thought in the beginning uh, because there was a lot of resistance in the staff. But then in a way, uh, the resistance gave an energy that kind of could be used as a fuel. So it actually made like uh, uh, the process uh, better, I think. After that, you, you kept your voice down. You didn't speak so loudly that everyone could hear you. You closed the door to the, to the um, doctor's office so his voice didn't get out in the corridor. We became a little bit different with this knowledge, with this uh, empathy for the patient. And when the new staff arrives to the emergency ward, we teach them the same way. Uh, the outcome of the intervention has been that they, the material from the 100 hours that they have uh, and they made uh, like discussion uh, meetings for that. So they use it in the, in the work uh, when they discuss like patient issues and so. So it's, it's like a tool for them now. Malin is an artist who is used to have other pers perspectives on things. Above all, you have to have courage and patience. And then, of course, you have to be interested in working with people. That's the main thing, to interact and, and to be curious as well. It's a good thing.